gaslighting the the viewers. So Grand Finals BSB number 100. It has been a wild ride. We hope there is another 100 to go. Let's see how it goes, everyone. All right. Okay, Cass will take over. We have, we have been given the controls for stream, so we will be uh, in charge of everything from here on out. And if we forget an updated score, we're tired. Yeah. You can tell by our comms, believe yes. me. <laughs> we are a lot more quiet now, but we're going to wake up for this one. Grand Finals, PS2, Joker versus Daisy. Nuggets starting to fall behind ever so slightly, but trying to keep it close as he can. And as I say that, 74% on each of them, that's an even game. It's definitely better that it's an even game. Nuggets is, you know, obviously riding the momentum from Losers Finals, you know, winning that great uh, game five against Unleashed. And I don't know what Sharp was doing most of the time. I think he was kind of just hanging out, maybe playing some friendlies. So maybe going a little bit rough, but that's fine. From what I saw, I don't think Nuggets Sharp was doing a lot in between, just kind of watching. So definitely a bit of a warmer hands on Nuggets. We'll see if that means anything. And right now, it does look like it means something. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do also like to think that Nuggets has like a really good early game where he kind of just like s starts off really hot, then maybe starts slowing down in the middle, but always like can play it really well in the end game. Yeah. 124 to 179 going across the stage with that back air. He does These get the Rebel Scarf tax it. These One are two extremely game. fast players, and it's like midnight, and my brain's in the microwave right now. I'm yeah, no, I feel yeah. that. Respect to these two, who still have the ability to play nice. this hot fast. My God. That, that is something I respect about Nuggets so much, is like, you never see him have like an off day, right? right. I mean, it's like, not, not every day he's winning, but it's like, he plays at that level every set he goes to. That's just like his fundamental floor. Like, he's so sound in his gameplay that and he could do it for six hours yeah. with this character. It's crazy. This character is known for breaking people's hands, too. Shout out Mires. Well, Mires has other, like, yeah. I think now, other problems. Now too. this really is Leo versus Mires at home. Granted, Leo won the winner's finals, so not um, quite. Mires uses Peach and Nuggets uses Daisy. Get out. <laughs> no. Get out. What's your the problem? Same character. What's not the same character is Nuggets, though. That is a dead character. 45% on the Joker. A lot of ground to make up. Another goddamn Saturn. He's, bad. He's not doing anything funny with the Saturn. Why does he though? keep getting Saturn? There's the stitch to follow Aww. that up, though. Do a combo. Do something. Oh, oh that's, that's no. super bad. No, that's don't, the wrong don't something. Do that, thing. <laughs> that was the something you shouldn't have done. If you are a Peach player, do not hit Rebel's Guard with Stitch. Thank you very much. Any counter really is a bad idea. Just, just Especially that one, yeah. Because you just gave our set up with for free. If for, yeah, now you're getting now Sharp is just getting extra credit. So, yeah. Bad turn of events. And you got four meters. He's already back at half. Oh, and he got no. four oh, meters. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Good punish. If if Sharp lived that somehow, got our set up, and then you're living with that where Nuggets could have easily taken two hits and then it was in kill percent. That would be really stage. bad. Run off stage if you give that Rebel's card back. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. okay. There's only about a 30% difference. The problem is that Arsen is probably coming in one or two solid hits against uh, Joker. So this is a very scary situation. You have to be able to outlive the Arsen. But you also want to kill him before a second one comes up. Right. Oh, the drag down fair. We've seen that a lot from Nighter Shark tonight. Trying to do something cheesy, something cheeky. And the forward tilt coming through as well. There's Arsen. See what he can do for us. Yeah, cla classic Nuggets never really like super committing to the ledge because he doesn't want to get uh, reversal. He always likes to play in that roll range with float. There you oh go. No. Oh no! Oh yeah. no! That's crazy. All right, I, th I think I've mentally checked out. I think the tricast has run its course. Okay. I'm All gonna right. let you two handle the rest of the night. Well, thank you, Butter Dog, for joining us. Uh, we gotta update the score. I'll take your offer on the Pokemon cards another day. You're no, I get it. I'm I'm burnt too. <laughs> I'm on fumes. Same. All right, but on. I'm willing to do it. Where's the, where's the mouse? It's probably in the other monitor. Three, two, one, go. We'll update the score eventually. There we go. There's the update. You, you got it. All right. Game two going back to PS2. I think these two have been PS2 the entire time. Maybe. No, I think we maybe got one game on Hall of Bastion. 
Uh, but Nido no, I think that was Vidad. I think that was the Vizad said. Might have it might have been. Uh, honestly, I don't remember. We're fucking tired. Yeah. Regardless, Nido Sharp has a pretty good lead here in this first stock. 83% on Nuggets, 1% yep. on Nido Sharp, and that is the stock. That too. was. That's effectively a zero to death. That was not. It was probably bad DI on the back air, but it was worse DI that you DI'd out in a certain way that you're going to get followed up by full, like, turn around, double jump back air. So, yeah, you don't want to do that, especially at the ledge, because Jokers will kill you, especially if you have Arsene, because that's the, one of the worst situations you want to DI out. You probably want to just DI in at that point. Yeah. We were saying that the Joker needed to warm up, and we saw that happen over the course of the last set, and it's, it's carrying over into this set. That was kind of the big question about whether or not Nuggets would be able to find some new momentum to try and force a reset, but clearly, Nido Sharp's Joker is here, and it is fighting back hard. Down throw, forward air. Gets the air dodge frame trap. Solid damage. Go. What the heck? Was that up air? Yeah, that was drag down up air, which is wow. kind of insane. Yeah, you don't really see it like that. It was also like the first hit, and it didn't really follow up with the other hits. They yeah, just kind of dragged it was, down. It was like the front of the hitbox. Yeah. It hit weirdly there. Interesting tether cancel going for the first tether cancel and going into the second re-grab. Did it tether cancel? I, I I'm just pretty sure I saw two, yeah. I just thought, I saw two. I oh. just think the first one didn't get to ledge. Um, I could be You wrong. might be right. I don't know. Okay. okay, there we go. Good job from Nuggets. Just getting rid of the Arsene. But you're still down 137, which is uh, not good at all. Yeah, whereas the last set was very much a stock-based game, this is far more of a This, Yeah, this game. comes down to managing our send meter and making sure that you're also just, like, damaging them. Yeah. That set, though, Nuggets is doing a great job digging back in on this. 88% oh. on the Joker. Our set about halfway gone does get the counter on the last set of down air. Not enough to kill. That's not God. bad. I wonder. So Nuggets just opting to go to the ledge, not even just trying to like stall out the Arsene. Down throw, not going to get the kill just yet. Even on Daisy being a lighter character, you're still going to be able to float around. But you got to land eventually, and that backer is going to be sealing that stock. Two stocks to one. Nuggets not out of it too much. Only 100% on uh, Joker. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, able to stall out the rest of our sends, so don't have to worry about it at the start of this stock. Oh, that was almost beautiful! I love the vision that I saw there, but not quite going to execute on it. Nice, strong Nair. Joker trying to retreat back to the ledge with the tether, but gets caught out. Even-ish game, but here comes the important part. You're basically playing a one-stock game. This is coming down to who's just going to get the hits at the right time and who's just going to capitalize on their opponent's mistakes. Right, and Nido Sharp got the hit on Rebels Guard at the perfect time. Arsene is out on the field very early into this stock. Has a lot of room to bring it back later in this two. If he needs it, it looks like he might not. Nido Sharp is threatening to try and close out this game too as fast as he can. Oh, I don't like that up air from Sharp. Um, probably go to gone for a back air and go on a frame trap off of it instead of going for an up air because you don't really do anything. Nice double Rebels guard. Our set is back guards. online. Oh it was, my god, it was off, Sharp. It was offline no more than 20 seconds ago, and just getting two in a row is now going to give Sharp a huge boost in ability to just seal out this game. Yeah, opens up the option for a third Arsene in the stock, too. Does get the drag down jab. Just needs one more. Does get the gun to interrupt, but gonna be able to get back with a ledge attack. You gotta stall here. You gotta stall. Oh, try to go for the counter. Try to beat out the Daisy Bomber, but it's not gonna work. 153%. You have max rage. Rebels guard, no punish. Nuggets trying to find the way in. He gets a strong hit in there. Nido Sharp really wants to bring Arsene back here. Will he need it though? No, the back air is gonna take it. Doesn't quite need Arsene. Almost got it back. Nido Sharp really found something in that game, though. That's such a hard situation to deal with because if you're on the platform, Joker's up smash can cover a decent amount of range if you try to do a tech chase. So you don't really want to like and to really be in that situation, but at the same time, if you read a certain getup, you can just go for the back air. And even if you whiff, you have center stage where Nuggets really wants to end up going. Right. All right. Game three. We're sticking with PS2. Nuggets on the verge of losing the tournament, which would mean Nido Sharp walks away with the $200 to first place. I, I, I don't know that I want to see the reset just given the time, but hey, it'd be an interesting narrative at least. If Nuggets hits the reset, he better win the fucking reset. He better. That's all I'm and saying. And it better not be a Game 10 Grand Finals, I swear. I don't think I've ever... No, I definitely have done Game 10 Grands. I've just never done it with Nuggets, I don't think. 
I don't think I have it either. Oh, missed the okay, ledge. Okay, wait, hold on. This is where it starts. 31% on Nuggets. As that stock goes down, an unfortunate SD for Nido Sharp, but it's been definitely an important one to happen. Solid hits coming through. Oh, no, it's starting to happen. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Arsene's right around the corner, though. A little more, a little bit more time, and he'll come out to play. 59% on Nuggets, trying to play it safe. Got blessed with a lead and is trying to keep it as long as he can. But one of the powerful parts of Joker is that neutral special. He wields a gun, and that can take pot shots at you all day long. The Dot Eyes, though. Oh, this Dot Eyes is doing so much damage. Another Rebel Guard bait. Nuggets is playing extremely well. Another another hit on the ledge. Great tech, though, by Sharp living a little bit longer. But you're at 176. You're not going to live that Nair. And now, three stocks to one. Mid percent's only at 68. Looking like a game victory here, but you know, obviously don't want to count out Sharp just yet. Sharp could absolutely still make something happen. And I think the big thing that's been happening is Nuggets finally figured out how Sharp was using Rebel's Guard. Oh my god, look at this. Z catches. I, I feel like we're seeing turn up combos that Nuggets usually doesn't even go for. Nuggets is fighting for this. Nuggets wants the win, wants the cash. Nido Sharp is fighting back with this Rebel's Guard. He's been using it so well throughout the set. Even though Nuggets is figuring out what's going on with it, it's still just bringing Arsene back every couple of seconds. It's insane. Down Smash only barely clipping the ledge, so it's going to reset the situation. Yeah, Nuggets trying to read some sort of neutral getup. It looks like a roll in. Up tilt, not going to get anything quite yet. Nuggets just happy to stall out the Arsene just a little bit more. It's, it's, I mean, you're up three stocks of one, but it's it's optimal as possible to try to get the RSN done. Now it's gone. Nuggets going to try to find the kill right here and goes for the Nair. That'll take it. That's a game three to Nuggets. Potentially a start in momentum shift if we can carry it through into more games. It's looking better, but you're still not out because you still have to win game four. Game four is going to be the real situation you're going to think about. Like, okay, you won game three. Can you do it again in the same way in game Four, or is Sharp going to try to get some sort of adaptation? Immediate character pick, immediate entering into the game. Both these players are in it. They want to win it. They also want to go home. Yeah, no, it, it's midnight. People want out. <laughs> people want out of the venue. Yeah, people got to travel home after this. Some people got work or school in the morning. Yeah. Like. Uh, should have teched. All I can say about that. Hey, it's a five-hour tournament. This is just this is how it goes. So yeah, You just got to be ready for that kind of thing. Anyway, starting off, 21% on Nuggets, 12% on Joker, Naito Sharp. Back at PS2, the music has changed, but not much else. Yeah, both players have definitely slowed down the pace of the game just a little bit since that last one. I mean, Nuggets was cooking with fire there, so maybe a little bit of a slower approach is just going to be a little bit better here. But, I mean, Sharp needs to find some sort of way to play a little bit faster, but also get these hits in. He's not really getting too much, because Nuggets is just playing so well. Yeah, Nuggets locked into the defensive play style. Fantastic neutral air there. And he floated just far enough that, because if he was closer to the ledge, it would have whiffed. If he was too far away, then it might not have honestly hit. Yeah, it's close here. Arsene is back on the table on the second stock. 56% on the Joker. Nuggets has a considerable lead right now, and Nido Sharp has to find the momentum once again. We haven't seen the counter coming out against Sharp at all, so great utilization. Probably not going to get away with it again, but oh my god, look at this. A turn up snipe? Nope, we're not going to see it. She's going to hit for the parasol. Going to get the back air. Another Rebel's Guard. I mean, he's been using the Rebel's Guard really loosely this entire time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you know what doesn't work? Air dodging right there. You're going to get hit by that strong Nair again. Another back-to-back -back game with a three-stock to one lead for Nuggets. Yeah, Nuggets is making it happen. It really looks like this could go very soundly for Nuggets if Sharp doesn't pull something out of a hat. Luckily, we have a lovely little rabbit named Arsene who can make some tricks come out. Abracadabra, is anything going to happen? No, some down smash shenanigans, perhaps. Solid back air. Another situation like game three where you got to get that kill. Nuggets up two stocks to one. Just going to get free turn -a pull you're going to want to use. Just going to throw it away. Double back air. 30 damage. It's not bad. That move is very strong. Uh oh Very hard hitting. 82%. Very quickly in the blink of an eye, Nido Sharp has found something and is fighting to keep this from resetting. Yeah, oh, boy. 0 to 80 with just Arsene is really strong, but now you're going to go through that drought. 
We're really going to have to find these openings, oh, but no. I think we got a stitch face from Nuggets. We do. If we can hold on to it, one hit is all we'll need. Just has to get back to ledge, finds it, finds the stage control, and Sharp is in a bad spot, but no! Going to be able to shield it. Both reset back to neutral. f coming through, trying to go for another one. Just trying to play it a little bit safe, not trying to spam too many strong moves where you're going to have too much end lag. I think sharp, if you're sharp, you need to find the kill now. Arsen is right around the corner, and you want to use that as best you can for the next stock. But no, he is here. Got to make use of it while you can. You probably aren't getting another Arsen this game. Four throw. Nowhere near the percentage that you want for it to kill just yet. Strong Nair. Nope, soft Nair. Turn up snipe. Great tech from Sharp. <laughs> trying to go for the Z drop on a turn up at the ledge, trying to cover for some sort of ledge hang option. 167 on Naito Sharp and still kicking. Needs to find the kill on Nuggets if you want to close this out now. And not going to get it with the back air. It's too stale. It's been too long into this game. Just needs to find something for Tilt. Not going to find it. Back air not going to find it. Nuggets is in complete control at the moment. Yeah, all these close whiffs, but the dash attack will take it. We are being pushed to game five. The reset, knocking at the door. Naito Sharp played a little bit better than the game before, but now is the time where you need to lock in. I'm trying to look at the players, see if there's any expression. And Sharp just playing a little bit more, trying to at least play with a Joker face, pretty, pretty composed. Nuggets looking Joker a little face. relaxed. He has the... Actually, no, never mind. I thought he had his... Does he have his legs crossed? I think he does. He does have his legs crossed. Yeah, so he's playing a little bit more relaxed, which is a really good sign. Because uh, if you think about it, if you're, trying to, if you're like nervous, you're going to be a little bit more like compressed, but he's playing relaxed. You know, right. he just doubled... And it wasn't double three stock, but he had three stock to one lead back-to-back -back games, which is really nice, especially against Sharp. Um, so I see Smashville? We did see Smashville. Interesting. This is on Sharp's counter pick, too, so... Correct. A little bit of a more compact stage, but it works for both players, honestly. Like, you're going to have to scrap against Joker, but you're also going to have to scrap against Nuggets, too. So exactly. it's very volatile. It's really who's going to be able to take the momentum here, game number five. Right. First time we've seen a stage change, too, this entire set. Might just finally be feeling like Ooh. nothing's working on PS2, but it doesn't seem like much is working on Smashville as we start this off. 85% making it up quick, though, with the power of Arsene. And as, I, as I'm talking, it's already been closed quite a considerable amount. Does get the follow-up off down air. Do we have a back air? No, not quite. Both players are playing extremely fast. It hasn't even been a minute. We almost might already see a stock. Another turn-up pull. Just going to send it off stage. No Rebels guard against from from Sharp. We got the wonderful chat detection of Nuggets' name coming through so once stupid. again. stupid. That's such a wonderful little thing. We got we got you, Jess. We got you, Jess. 148 on Nido Sharp, 130 on Nuggets. This game, probably the closest one we've seen of this first set of Grands here. Yeah, it's been a pretty big swing in one or the other's favor. I know Sharp was looking for a backer, but got hit by the Daisy Bomber. And then Nuggets was able to get the kill right there. Able to recover off the ledge. Trying to hit that forward air into reverse back air. Nice. This is another even game. One minute and a half. This is going fast. All right. Lock in both of you. Both players playing with severe confidence. All of, all of the plays here are just going great. But that whiff grab will be the start of something potentially. Nuggets has a huge lead of 83% once again. And is just chipping away at this Arsene bit by bit. It's looking worse and worse. This and down B is coming out at the wrong time. Oh no. And Nuggets is, you know, only had 8%, but you know, Nuggets is answering back now. We're he's not in a super comfortable position to really take the lead, but he's getting closer to this percent that he really wants to be at. Yeah. We're bringing it back a little bit with Nido Sharp. It's now 90, but the stock takes, as I say that. No chance for Arsene. You've got one more stock before the reset happens. What can you find here, Sharp? It's, you might have to gamble with Rebels guards. I mean, you obviously don't want to go into the reset, but knowing that you do have the reset, like maybe I do want to take that risk, playing the longer game. I think, I think we have to see the same Rebels guard gambles that we've been seeing 
Sharp pull a lot of. We got the first Arsene of this stock. Well, that was I, risky. That was a risky pick, and it did not pay out 63%. Yeah. Sharp did it a little too high where Nuggets wasn't really going to be going for the Parasol recovery. Uh, Even there, there too. Again. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like you might as well just let him get the Parasol and just try to set up the edge guard instead of trying to ledge trap. I, I gave hints at it before. Oh, good footstool. Still nah. going to be able to get back from it. But I, I gave hints at it before. I think a lot of what happened for Nuggets' momentum has been figuring out a lot of Sharp's Rebels Guard uses. Nice. Obviously, fantastic use there to get the edge guard in. Okay, so this is not bad because now you get Arsene relatively soon, and then you might be able to get it again. But it's a big, big might because you're already at 106, so you can't really take that much more damage, or you have to really get a nice Rebels Guard. But 47% with the oh range of the hard air, and he's oh gone! My God. He's Whoa. gone! Out of nowhere! Yeah. Closing it at 